Hello and welcome to a new video format for the channel. We've got myself and Heck, the admin of the Dinosaur Discord server, and we're going to take a look at this new documentary coming out uh, about dinosaurs. And of course, I'm interested because it's about dinosaurs. It's coming out tomorrow on the, uh, on the 12th at 7 p.m. It's a little questionable. I think that's why we're doing the video. Heck sent it to me and I was like, we got to do a video on this. So let's uh, watch the whole video and see what we think about it. And uh, I want to get your guys' reactions to it, too, and get some, at least some people watching this. Because if you look at the YouTube video, it's got 279 views. It's on Channel 5. I think we're going to have to do some internet detective work to figure out what where we can watch this. Um, but it's interesting, to say the least. Let's take a look. This is the Earth a hundred million years ago. A dangerous, magical place ruled by terrifying creatures, the dinosaurs. Come with me as I travel back in time for an epic tale spanning 180 million years to see how they lived until their ultimate demise. Dinosaur, with me, Stephen Fry, coming soon to Channel 5 and My 5. Okay, I, I wish you could see my face right now. Um, that is something. That is definitely something. We're going to have to break this down. That was uh, certainly that strange. Was certainly strange. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look bit by bit. So first of all, you, you start with this. I mean, this looks like it's straight out of like early 2000s. I mean, this looks worse. Quality production value. Yeah, this looks worse than Walking with Dinosaurs that came out when I was like a little kid. So, but the first thing I want to say... I've seen Minecraft shaders that look better. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to say is that I'm not going to complain about anything that's dinosaur content getting out there to people. I think that that's the first thing that I care about is that people care and like about dinosaurs. And if I think about the first thing that got me into dinosaurs, it was Jurassic Park. And by today's standards, that's not realistic at all. So I'm not going to complain. I'm glad that this gentleman here, Stephen Fry, who looks like a very nice man, um, is putting out this this content um but i gotta say the cgi is is, is not there for me but he looks like a nice guy so right here this looks good i think this looks good um if we just left it at here i mean this looks like a decent model of a tyrannosaur um and then we skip ahead like He's very clearly, like, poorly green screened. You can see where it's clipping on, on like, the back of his pants. Um, but even this, this is not bad. This, this right here, this image. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, there's details. You've got, like, scars on the T-Rex. But listen to the roar real quick. I want you to listen to that. Straight out of Jurassic Park. And then you've got right, right here. This looks like it's straight out of the prehistoric planet. Sounds awfully familiar. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like it's straight out of the prehistoric planet documentary. Um, and this doesn't look bad either. The but th dinosaur. this next frame is what I want to talk about. <laughs> oh my god. Does this look familiar to anybody? Let's take a look. Let's go on the, th on the Twitter thread real quick. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. The resemblance is uncanny. I can't I honestly can't believe that. They do, I mean that is the Titanosaur from Ark Survival Evolved, the video game. It's not even a good model of a dinosaur. In fact, they just straight up stole it. Yeah, they did. It's it's not even a good model of a dinosaur. I mean, look that is the same. It's got the same rocks in the back. Look at the face. Look at the details on the face. It is the exact same model. Look at that, man. I mean, and if you've ever played Ark Survival Evolved... The patterns are the same, too. Oh, yeah, they are. See, Heck has even more experience playing the game. If you've ever played it, the dinosaurs are not known for realism. Oh, my goodness. Let's let's continue, shall we? That is too funny. I don't even know how they got those models and then put them into this. I mean, they don't look bad here, but if you recognize them, it's just... Wow. Come with me as I travel back in time... <laughs> See, that, that did not look good. That is really, I, oh, that looks like Zoo Tycoon 2, man. That is. For real. Uh, 
Hey, hey, look. The raptor has feathers. All right, that's an attempt at realism there. I appreciate that. Bro, thank you, Nigel Marvin. Those don't look bad. Those don't look bad at all. But this... This doesn't even look like it's from the same documentary. Like, I can't believe that. I mean, I guess, you know, you got to conserve your production budget, but goodness gracious. That looks all right. Million years. That, that, I, I think the aisle looks better than this. Um, years. That didn't look terrible. What's with the weather? I swear it's always cloudy. Look at that. That green screen, though. That green screen. Is that a T-Rex next to a Utah Raptor? Is that what we're looking at here? What is the size? It's almost as big as the T-Rex. That's huge. That's crazy. That's huge. And then like this, this tiny Triceratops over here. So I think we can, we can't really expect the best scientific accuracy from this documentary. I think that goes without saying, um, especially, especially since this was immediately, um, this is immediately coming after the prehistoric planet documentary. I think it's hard to top that. I think that's why this is getting so much scrutiny on Twitter, which we'll go through in just a second. But um, at least they're getting dinosaurs out there. The ultimate demise. Oh, that looks that looks worse than Jurassic World Evolution right there. Speaking of which, I've seen an entire documentary. Um, actually, let's look at this right now. Let's go ahead and look at this. Jurassic World Evolution Dino Documentary. Let's go ahead and look at that. This series, Walking with Dinosaurs, look, look at how good this looks compared to what we just saw. This is a video game that came out like a year or two ago. Look at how good this looks. I mean, if you just narrate over this, like, you don't even need, like, hoping to find a more resourceful area. Look at this. This is just some random, you know, YouTube channel, past Eons Productions, um, that made a, a really nice documentary. Of a variety of different plot types. Like most replayed. I mean, this just looks fantastic. I remember watching this the first time, and I could recognize that it was from a video, a video game, but I didn't see which video game it was from. Look at this. It's probably Google Earth right there or something. But just resourceful, and it's all free to make this. However, it just looks fantastic. An animal that comes to the mainland only seasonally. So we go back to this, and it's like offensive to the eyes. Hate that a dinosaur documentary looks worse than a YouTuber's video from a game. Yeah. Dinosaur with me, Stephen Fry. But soon to whoever Stephen Fry is, I want to be nice to him because he looks like a nice dude. But. I mean, the production is just not great on this. Uh, let's look at the Twitter. Let's look at the Twitter. Um, I would love to get a chance to see our Utah Raptor episode. Utah Raptor State Park is coming along. Real star of Jurassic World. Chris Pratt. Documentary and movie companies need to stop using Turbo Squid. Oh, that's where this is coming from, huh? Is it... It's a stock CGI model. That's probably where they got the ARC ones from. Somebody just pirated it and put it on this, on this website. Yeah, make your own CGI models, dang. Prehistoric Planet left some incredibly huge shoes to fill. I totally agree with that. Yeah, it's not grabbing me either, brother. And they thought it was accurate. Yeah, here's somebody talking about the Titanosaurus from ARC. Yeah, you know what? I think it's still gonna be fun to watch. Uh, Caprasuchus has a point here. Um, doesn't look too bad. Same with Trash Newt. He did point out that the Dromaeosaurs have feathers. Yeah, <laughs> it looked decent until they showed Ark's Titanosaur. Oh my god. Wildcard gonna have a talk. Yeah, well, Wildcard isn't that great of a company either, so... They, I think they, they've done some questionable things as well. Do you want to get sued or something? I think they might jump on the chance. Okay, let's figure out... Oh, here we go. Here's another one. All right, you and I, heck, are going to figure out what Channel 5 is and how people can watch this show. All right, so let's do that right now. Thank you, heck. 
So this is where people can watch it, channel5.com. That's easy enough. Uh, it should be coming out at 7 p.m. Is that is that British time? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's not Eastern Standard. Probably. Which means like, what does that, what does that mean? Let's see. Or 7 p.m. They're only in one time zone, so that is 2 p.m. So it's a five-hour time difference. So it's coming out 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. If you want to watch it on channel5.com honestly go give it some love go ahead and watch it because if you're anything like me you still like to watch dinosaur content no matter what it is and maybe maybe it'll defy expectations we'll see it's so goofy i want to watch it exactly anyways guys thank you for watching let me know what you think about this video in the comments and go ahead and join the dinosaur nerd discord server i can pull it up right here it is bumping. Um, we've got 693 members and counting. Lots of activity. You can uh, put your art as well, as well as your video ideas. We have a whole forum here on the Discord dedicated to people's showcasings of their art. Um, we've got all, all sorts of stuff here. All sorts of art. So go ahead and put your art here as well. Plenty of stuff to do on the Discord server, so go ahead and check it out. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.